Take me by the head and let's go find our own space Somewhere in between you and me It's a piece of magic that we need to release Ooh, and now you're looking for a good time I think you should take a chance, take a chance with me And do you wanna get the mood right? I think you should take a chance, take a chance with me Cause I've been on my way I've been on, I've been on my way for a long, long time You've been on your way You've been on, you've been on your way If you're looking for safe shelter, I'll warn you, there's none to be found. It's just a guess, but I'm thinking everyone in Lothering is aware of the approach. Back off! I have the right to charge what I wish. You profit from their misfortune! I should have the Templars give away everything in your carts! You wouldn't dare! Any of you step too close to my goods and I'll... It's so nice to see everyone working together in a crisis. Warms the heart. Oh, you there. You look able. Would you care to make a tiny profit helping a beleaguered businessman? Well, I won't stand for thievery. Especially not at the demand of some shrewish priest. Then go, and may you get all you deserve. I hope the darkspawn choke on your cheap hides. Ah! I suppose it couldn't be helped. Maker, help us all. Ah, the Chantry board. It shall be done. Run errands for the betterment of mankind as well as a few coppers. The legions of evil are on your doorstep. They will feast upon our hearts. There is nowhere to run. This evil will cover the world like a plague of locusts. Please, you're scaring the children. Better to slit their throats now than let them suffer at darkspawn hands. There! One of their minions is already amongst us! This woman bears their evil stench! Can you not see the vile blackness that fills her? Darkspawn will feast on our flesh! Everyone will die! Darkspawn will feast on your living hearts! They will take your children! Darkspawn will feast on your living hearts! They will take your children!
There's word of Darkspawn stragglers, but no sign of the main hall. Who? I beg your pardon. I did not see you approach. Sir Donald? Is that you? Alistair? By the Maker, how are you? I, I was certain you were dead. Not yet. No thanks to turn Loghain. If Arl Eamon were well, he'd set Loghain straight soon enough. If he were well? What, what, what do you mean? The Arl is stricken with an illness that threatens his life. We have found no cure, either natural or magical. When did this happen? Only a few weeks ago, but he has declined quickly. No one knows the nature of the illness, and even magic has done little to slow its progress. Our only hope now is a miracle. Every knight of Redcliffe has gone in search of the urn of sacred ashes. Andraste's ashes are said to cure any illness. But I fear we are chasing a fable, with each day my hope dims. Supposedly, the urn contains the ashes of the prophetess Andraste. Surely you know all this. Nothing I have found leads me to believe that this was anything more than a quest of desperation. I intend to return to Redcliffe soon and tell the Arlesa exactly that once Sir Henrik arrives. What? And you have his locket? And a note? Maker's mercy. Thank you for giving me these. I would never have known otherwise. Thank you. I wonder how many of us have met similar fates on this mad quest. Why is that, if I may ask? I see. The Arl is a popular man, it's true. Tern Loghain, however, is a hero throughout Ferelden. Whatever the Tern has done or not done, the Arl remains ill or worse. That is my primary concern. He may be dead already. Or perhaps his luck has changed in the weeks I have been gone. We should see what's happening in Redcliffe ourselves. I believe that now more than ever. If nothing else, I am certain you would be welcomed at Castle Redcliffe. The Arlesa is there, and she could tell you more than I could. I expected to take advantage of the Chantry's library, in fact. But my skills are better suited to battle than chasing down tales. My mission takes priority, but I fear I shall be returning to Redcliffe with nothing to show for my efforts. With Henrik gone, I need to return to Redcliffe. Perhaps later I will seek out the scholar his note mentions. But I must go. Thank you again, my lady. You have been most helpful. That is all. May the Maker have mercy on us. And when the Maker spoke, the chant of light Ooh. scattered in the darkness. Praying for help the from Prophet, they burned the and a God who has turned Let his back on the night from once, the but be twice. Let those who seek redemption be delivered. Let those who have sinned be forgiven.
Wasser. It's the main men we swords came. And mother told me to run to the village as fast as I could, so I did. She said she'd be right behind me, but I've been waiting and waiting and I can't see her. He went with William to the neighbours yesterday, but he didn't come back. Mother said I wasn't to go with anyone. I'm supposed to wait for her here, in the village. A whole silver! Wow, thank you. You're a really nice lady. Kind of like Mother. I should go look for her. So let's talk about your mother for a moment. I'd rather talk about your mother. Well, there's nothing to talk about. And besides, isn't your mother a scary witch who lives in the middle of a forest? Much more interesting. To you, perhaps. You would find the moss growing upon a stone interesting. You know what's more interesting than that? Apostates, mages outside of the tower. That's illegal, you know. You did not read that in a book somewhere, did you? I hope the small letters did not strain you over much. Oh, we could not talk about your mother. That works for me. Hello, uh, stranger. I don't suppose you know anyone that can make traps? Old man Barlin said that Darkspawn may be coming soon. He's got traps on his farm, I figured. I put a few on my lands. Barlin wants to poison his traps. I just want normal traps. Ah, oh, he doesn't have any poison yet, thank the Maker. So his fields are just full of traps. He can be a bit eccentric. None to be had. Balin has all the traps in the village in his fields. I didn't mean to bother you. Sorry. You got a bed for the night. You taken care of. <laughs> Ever since Good King Kalen passed, refugees and soldiers have been passing through. I'm the elder here, and I've my hands full making sure refugees don't turn to petty theft or worse. <laughs> Sir Bryant at the Chantry has seen to matters of defense and such. He'd have more of an ear for your type. Too much to do, and not enough time. I don't suppose you know anything of tonics, medicines or herbs. Then you may be able to do us a lot of good. All manner of travellers come through, many injured or sick. We do our best, but we're out of supplies. There's medicinal herbs in the woods to the north. If you make a few poultices, I'll scrape together some sort of payment. I'll write all you need to know in this note here. Now there you accuse. 
excuse me of thievery. I saw you take the supplies from my car. Your grassland eyes are inept. A chase end would never stoop to petty theft. You marsh folk are all thieves and liars. Enough! People here are already desperate and frightened. They don't need you two coming to blows. But what about my food? I said enough! You want one of my captors? I will not amuse you any more than I have the other humans. Leave me in peace. I'm in a cage, am I not? I've been placed here by the Chantry. I am Sten of the Beresad, the vanguard of the Kunari peoples. You mock me, or you show manners I have not come to expect in your lands. Though it matters little now, I will die soon enough. This is a proud and powerful creature, trapped as prey for the Darkspawn. If you cannot see a use for him, I suggest releasing him for Mercy's sake alone. Mercy? I wouldn't have expected that from you. I would also suggest that Alistair take his place in the cage. Yes, that's what I would have expected. I suggest you leave me to my fate. Tempting, but I shall decline. Were you in my position, would you prolong your imprisonment? I have been convicted of murder. Have the villagers not spoken of this? Twenty days now. I shouldn't last much longer, another week at most. Compared to your kind, maybe. Death will be my atonement. Perhaps. What does your wisdom say is equal to my crime? Blight. Are you a Grey Warden, then? Surprising. My people have heard legends of the Grey Warden's strength and skill. Though I suppose not every legend is true. Perhaps if you told her the Grey Wardens need my assistance, it seems as likely to bring my death as waiting here. Farewell, then. A penitent man left to be torn to pieces by Darkspawn. Tis a fine example of the Chantry's mercy, is it not?
very well. Terran Logan. Well, look what we have here, men. I think we've just been blessed. Uh-oh. Logan's men. This can't be good. Didn't we spend all morning asking about a woman by this very description, and everyone said they hadn't seen her? It seems we were lied to. Gentlemen, surely there's no need for trouble. These are no doubt simply more poor souls seeking refuge. They're more than that. Now stay out of our way, sister. You protect these traitors, you'll get the same as them. Right, let's make this quick. We must not exhaust our supplies. What do you wish of me? Good. They've learned their lesson and we can all stop fighting now. Please wait! They have surrendered. They were no match for you. Let them be. W w what do you want to tell him? I'll tell him right away. Now. Thank you. I apologize for interfering. But I couldn't just sit by and not help. Let me introduce myself. I am Liliana, one of the lay sisters of the Chantry here in Lothring. Oh, I was. Those men said you are a Grey Warden. You will be battling the Darkspawn, yes? That is what Grey Wardens do. I know after what happened, you will need all the help you can get. That's why I'm coming along. that and the Maker wants me to go with you. Then you believe me. I knew the Maker had sent a true dream. A vision that by serving you I serve his holy plan. Perhaps your skull was cracked worse than Mother thought. Thank you. I appreciate being given this chance. I will not let you down. Nation. Indeed. <laughs> I heard what.
what you did with the other merchant. Got what he deserved. <laughs> well, as I still don't have food to sell. Check the chanter's board by the chantry. There's good jobs, huh? Um, <clears throat> I don't suppose you know anything about uh, poison. Well, my farm is far from town. And I'm not embarrassed to say I'm nervous about Darkspawn. I've got some traps around the place. I've heard the poison hurts them beasties just as good as anybody else. Well, then those bleeding sad salts should stay off my land, eh? Besides, these days any folk out at night is more than like to slit your throat. Can you make poison or not? That's what Elder Miriam said. But it's my coin and my land. I just want to rest a little easier at night. Pity. I figured it was worth asking. So, you want to buy something instead? Did you speak to that knight yesterday? Said he was from Redcliffe. He talked to everyone in the tavern. How are we supposed to know where the urn of sacred ashes is? Might as well ask us how to get to the moon. He said that all the Redcliffe knights were looking for it. They didn't have anything better. Stop looking at me, mongrel. 
I have nothing you want. Why do you keep staring at me so, you flea? Let him take notice and shine upon thee, for thou hast done his work this day. I don't heard what was said. You're a warden. I don't know if you killed King Kalen and make her forgive me. I don't care. But that bounty on your head could feed a lot of hungry bellies. Attack! We must not exhaust our supplies. Now we can
Blessed are the peacekeepers, champions of the just. And the stars stood still, the winds did quiet, and all animals of earth and air held their breath. All was silent in prayer and thanks. Will you be making a donation to the Chantry, my friend? You look like you have salvaged more of value than most who make it here. I understand. Not all are wealthy enough to spare even a few coins for the Maker's favor. What can I do for you then? A Grey Warden? Here? Oh dear. You put me in a difficult position. You must know that Tern Loghain declared the Grey Wardens to be outlaws. Tern Loghain? That is as hard for me to believe as his condemnation of the Wardens. There is a price on your head. Lay low and I promise to keep your presence a secret. That is the best I can do. Now, if there is nothing else... It might have been kinder to execute him, but I leave his fate to the Maker. Why does he interest you? Then his next victims might count you and me as their murderers. To defend against the Blight? Perhaps that is a form of atonement. But are you certain you can control him? Breton priests! How fun! Whoa, whoa! Let's not get out of hand here! What is the meaning of this? You would threaten me with violence? Your Reverence, please! We are on an important mission! Let us take the Cunari off your hands, I beg you! I see. And if not, I am to be assaulted. Is this what we have come to? No, Your Reverence. I will not allow that to happen. I have more important matters to concern me. Here. Take the key to the creature's cage and be gone. Do not return. Very well. I have a wonder, Alistair, if you will indulge me. Do I have a choice? Of the two of you that remain, are you not the senior Grey Wolf? I'd keep your voice down if I were you. They're pressing anyone who can hold the sword. You wish something more of me. I confess, I did not think the priestess would part with it. 
Perhaps we have different ideas of freedom. So be it. Set me free and I will follow you against the Blight. And so it is done. I will follow you into battle. In doing so, I shall find my atonement. May we proceed. I am eager to be elsewhere. about food. Take it up with that bleeding runt by the chantry. I've got other gear to sell. survived when even the Grey Wardens didn't make it out of that place down south. I heard he saw just in time what those Grey Wardens were doing and saved his men. It's a hero, that's what he is. Blast those Grey Wardens, they deserve what they got and more.
You're here about food. Take it up with that bleeding runt by the chantry. I got other gear to sell. Shall be done. What's to be done? What can we do? Just keep your head down. finding herbs in the woods. This will help many people. You're a good sort, you know. Tell me something, Morrigan. Did you live there in that forest your entire life? I left it on occasion, but I always returned. Why? Is that so strange? It was my home. But it was just you and your mother there? No one else? Mother occasionally had company. What? Company? Do I even want to ask? No, you really don't. Mighty timely arrival there, my friend. I'm much obliged. The name's Bodon Fedic, merchant and entrepreneur. This here is my son, Sandal. Say hello, my boy. Hello. Road's been mighty dangerous these days. Mind if I ask what brings you out here? Perhaps we're going the same way. Grey walls. Hmm. My, that does rather explain a lot. No offence, but I suspect there's more excitement on your path than my boy and I can handle. Allow me to bid you farewell and good fortune. 
Goodbye. Now then, let's get this mess cleaned up, shall we? As you say. It is begun. Bad dreams, huh? Well, it is real, sort of. You see, part of being a Grey Warden is being able to hear the Darkspawn. That's what your dream was, hearing them. The Archdemon, it talks to the Horde, and we feel it just as they do. That's why we know this is really a blight. I don't know if it's really a dragon, but it sure looks like one. But yes, that's the Archdemon. It takes a bit, but eventually you can block the dreams out. Some of the older Grey Wardens say they can understand the Archdemon a bit, but I sure can't. Anyhow, when I heard you thrashing around, I thought I should tell you. It was scary at first for me, too. I screamed like a little girl. Duncan said he thought I had someone in my room. <laughs> Not embarrassing at all. Anyhow, you're up now, right? Let's pull up camp and get a move on. Good to see you, my timely rescuer. Bodon Fenwick, at your service, once again. I saw your camp and thought to myself, what safer place to rest for the evening than in the camp of a Grey Warden? I'm perfectly willing to offer you a fine discount for the inconvenience of our presence. How does that sound? Good? Yes? Wonderful. Thank the kind lady, won't you, boy? Thank you, kind lady. We won't be a bother to you and your companions, I assure you. If you should need enchantments, simply talk to my boy. Otherwise, come speak with me. Hello. The boy's a bit simple, but he's rather good with enchantments. One of those tranquil fellas actually called him a... What was it now? A savant. I had no idea such a thing existed. He can fold lyrium into almost any weapon or piece of armour, though naturally some of the more extravagant materials will take more lyrium than others. It's a process that some of the master smiths back in Orzammar will perform, but my boy here is just as adept at it. Isn't that right, boy? Enchantment! And there you have it.
You're a hard woman to find. Where are my manners? The name is Levy, Levy Dryden. Did Duncan ever mention me? Levy of the coins, Levy the trader. Really? He never told you of old Levy? We've known each other for years. But here I am carrying on while you have a blight to stop. Don't want to waste your time. But you see, Duncan promised that together we'd look into something important for the Wardens. And for me. But poor Duncan's. Well, no more. A tragedy it is, at that. But I know he would want his work carried on. His pledge fulfilled. My family... Well, pass a bit checkered to see. Nobles look at us with disdain. My great-great-grandmother, Sophia Dryden, was the last warden commander of Ferelden back when the wardens were known as freeloaders. So King Olin banished the wardens, and he took House Dryden's land and titles. Duncan wanted to reclaim the old Grey Warden base, Soldier's Peak and perhaps we'll uncover evidence to restore my family's honour along the way. Nobody's been to Soldier's Peak since the Grey Wardens were banished, but I found a way. They say it's haunted, and it's certainly dangerous. Will you help me? A thousand blessings upon you, Warden. I'll mark down the location on your map. When you arrive, we'll pick our way through the tunnels together.